Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. This video is definitely more of a sit down slash chit chatty type of video. Um, I thought it would be appropriate for me to give you guys a sort of life update, talk about my future travel plans and things because I have a lot of changes going on in my life right now. And I like to be pretty honest and transparent with you guys. So I just thought it'd be easier to make a whole video explaining all of them. So I'm leaving Miami. I am moving on May 2nd. So I think this is going to go up um, a few days after that. So by the time you'll see this, I'll be in my next place. Um, but just as a background as to why I'm leaving Miami, I originally moved down here to be in my grad school program, which you guys should know from a video I filmed a while ago. I left to pursue my food blog and YouTube, etc. Um, as a full-time career. It's been about a year since I left the program and things are going well. I'm able to support myself, so I'm not going back to my program. So basically that was the main reason why I came to Miami. Um, and I don't really have any other reasons to stay here. I mean, I will admit I have made some really good friends here. I have gone to some cool places and there are a lot of cool vegan spots here and there are new ones popping up like all the time, which I think is totally awesome. But generally speaking, I just really don't like living in Miami. I mean, most people who live in Miami will admit this, okay? Um, I just feel like in general, the things that I cherish and value the most is not the same as like the general population of Miami. Like just for example, if I meet someone new for the first time, like at a non-vegan event or just like out, they'll be like, oh, like what's your favorite club on South Beach? Or like things like that. It's a very nightlife-y city. I think it is a great city and honestly, I would be happy to come back here like as a tourist for a vacation, but I just personally don't like living in it. Also, I don't really live close to anything and the traffic here is horrendous and the drivers here are honestly the worst drivers I have ever encountered. It's like a weird combination of South American driving rules and like annoyed American city driving which is just a horrible mix. Um, so I don't like that. And then the price of living here is kind of high and then I guess the other thing that I don't like is that it gets really, really humid here and hot here in the summer. And like, while I thought I liked the beach and the warmth, it's just it's a little too hot for me. So those are all the reasons why I am leaving Miami. I don't really have anything holding me back here. I don't have a boyfriend here. I don't have any family here. And I do have some friends here, but I know I can stay in contact with them. And also some of my friends were like in my grad school program too. So within the next two years, they're going to be gone as well. So. That's why I'm moving to Miami. That being said, I just said a lot of negative things about Miami, but I will admit that it is a really cool city, as I already said. But personally for me, I'm moving on with my life. Oh, also I just wanna give a shout out to Dharma Yoga because I'm going to miss my yoga studio a lot. That's probably the thing I'm gonna miss the most, if I'm being honest. But anyways, so I'm leaving Miami and my transition is kind of complicated. So I knew that I wanted to move to the Pacific Northwest. Um, like even after I graduated my grad school program. I went there for the first time. It was my first year of grad school. Um, so 2016, um, I visited Seattle and Portland for about a week in total and I loved it. I actually vlogged it, it's on my YouTube channel. And I just like really felt comfortable and at home there and like everyone there is friendly and I feel like just in general, people on the West Coast are a little more health conscious than people on the East Coast and it's not humid there and yeah so I wanted to move to the Pacific Northwest and I know it's very very different than Miami it's like opposite side of the country but I'm honestly like so excited to go out there and I'm so excited to live there and go hiking every weekend and like go to farmers markets and I, I know there are pros and cons everywhere but like guys don't rain on my parade okay Portland's already gonna rain on me enough <laughs> but so I'm technically living moving to Vancouver, Washington. Um, I wanted to move to the Portland area, but I actually heard Portland isn't the best place for like young entrepreneurs to live because there's some high income taxes. And so I'm moving to Vancouver, which is like a 15 to 20 minute drive away from Portland. It's in Washington, not moving to Canada. Um, 
I feel like I need to clarify that every time I say that. But I'm moving to Vancouver, Washington, and there's no state income tax in Washington, so it's better for younger people to live. And it's still like a 15-minute drive to Portland, which honestly is like me getting anywhere in Miami at least. So I'm really not concerned about traffic, and if I want to go to Portland, it's going to be super, super easy. Um... So yeah, and I'm not living alone. I'm moving there with Jasmine and Chris. I do monthly collaborations with them, so you guys should be pretty familiar with them. I mean, they're two of my best friends, so I've definitely mentioned them a lot, both on here and on my Instagram and stuff. So we are all getting a house together, and we're going to be renting a house together. And originally, we were looking at apartments, but then we ended up getting a house. Um, so we're each going to have our own separate rooms and we're also going to have a room that we're going to be converting into sort of like a videography and photography studio because Jasmine and Chris have a vegan blog as well. So I'm just really excited to be living with other people who do the same thing as me and to find a sort of supportive community and have friends like that, like in my everyday life because now I do have friends in the vegan community, but it's like harder to get to them because like I said, Miami traffic is terrible. Um, but yeah, so we're all moving out to a house in Vancouver and I'm obviously going to share it with you guys once we get settled in, but the house is actually going to be a new house. Um, so it's not going to be ready. At first it wasn't going to be ready till mid-May, but now it's not going to be ready until the end of May. Um, so I'm actually going to be staying with Jasmine and Chris for all of the month of May in LA until the house is ready, which actually works out perfectly because I'm going to two different vegan festivals in May. I think the first one will have already happened before this video, but I'm speaking at Veg Fest LA, which is a free festival. And then also I'm going to be speaking at and giving a food demo at the Seed Food and Wine LA version, which is also in collaboration with Eat Drink Vegan. So if you guys are interested in seeing me there, just going to the event, it's a really cool event. I will link it below if you guys wanna check it out. So I'll be doing those two things at like the beginning and end of May, and then after Eat Drink Vegan, we're moving to Vancouver. So we'll pretty much be in Vancouver for like all of June, sort of settling in and stuff. And then the only other travel plans that I have at the moment are at the end of June to early July, I'm going to be visiting my family. Um, so my mom was raised from Martha's Vineyard, which is an island off the coast of Massachusetts. And I feel like I just need to say this every time as a disclaimer, she lived there year round. Her grandpa was a fisherman. We're not like the richer hoity-toity people who live in Martha's Vineyard. But anyways, it's like one of my favorite spots on earth. I used to go every year as a kid, but I couldn't go last year because of grad school. Um, and I was really, really upset about it. So this year I'm going. Um, so I'm going towards the end of June slash early July. So first I'm actually going to be in Boston for I think like three days. So if you guys have any food or things to do recommendations in Boston, definitely let me know. I have some friends in the area who I'm excited to meet up with too. And then I'm going to Martha's Vineyard and I'm like honestly going to unplug and de-stress because these past few months have been really busy and really stressful for me. I've been doing a lot of fun things and traveling is really fun too, but I do have a set routine and I need to create content like regularly make recipes for my blog and I like try to consistently put out YouTube videos for you guys. So I've been working on the current content but i've also been trying to get ahead because i know i'm not going to have as much time to do it in la and i don't want to encroach on jasmine and chris's space and i was also just on a trip abroad too so i had to plan ahead for that so i've been very busy and honestly very stressed um but i'm excited and the end is near and it's like bittersweet leaving miami because like i said i do have friends here but like honestly every time i talk about moving i just get so happy and I start smiling, like I'm smiling right now, and I'm just really excited to start this new chapter of my life and to share it with you guys. So I think that is pretty much everything um, that I have to say, but I'll be sharing new updates and stuff as the journey comes along, but it is a big transition. I mean, honestly, if you told me a year ago, like a year and like two months ago, that I would be doing this full time and I would be living in the Pacific Northwest, I would be like, ha ha ha, nice try, that will never happen. So I do feel very happy and very blessed and grateful for all of my hard work and for the opportunities that I have had. And yeah, that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little life update and I guess I will see you in the next video. So thank you for watching, watching. Almost ended the video on a good note, but you know, gonna mess it up. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!